Hi everybody, Stephen O'Sullivan here from Stephen O'Sullivan Photography. Just making a quick video to run through uh, some pretty interesting and unusual wedding tips. There's about 28 billion websites out there with all the usual tips um, about how to choose bridesmaids, best man, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, so I, th I thought I'd go through my rack, rack the brain and come up with some tips that are a little bit more off the beaten track and uh, hope you find them interesting and useful. Yeah, feel free to share and uh, here we go. Tip one, snap it before you pack it. Uh, th this is this is not strictly to do with weddings. I picked this tip up when I used to uh, be doing marathons and running races abroad or anywhere really where you have to pack a bag and what you have in that bag is very important for the next day. And um, one thing is to put out all my, my, my gear, my clothes, my runners, my socks, whatever it is, and take a photo of the night before, pack it in your bag. Uh, then when you get on the plane the next day or wherever it is you're, you're going and you get there and you, you get that little worry, gee, did I pack my, 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 my shorts? Did I pack my, my whatever it is? You can just pick up the phone, flick through your, 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 your your photos and there it is you can see well yeah i packed my left shoe and i packed my right shoe which, which is always pretty handy and uh you know it's a, it's just a, a good little thing to keep the panic at bay because the night before the, the wedding um you want a good night's sleep you want to be able to just know what you have and know you have everything because the little gremlins will creep in um if you've got the rings whatever it is but <clears throat> yeah there you go incontrovertible proof that you have everything you need for the next day okay tip number two this is uh Probably obvious when, when you read it, but not so much un until you do, but practice getting dressed. So you're you're going to do your wedding, you're gonna be wearing clothes that you never wore before, um, most of the time anyway. So you'll be wearing maybe um, a, 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 new, a new dress, you'll be wearing a new suit. And this tip just means, you know, try it on, you're gonna have it for a couple of days, maybe weeks or, or months before the wedding. You're gonna have this, this gear in your house somewhere, stuffed in an attic or in a wardrobe take it out, practice putting it on. Um, oddly enough, this seems to apply more after than that to, to, to the fellas than, than the ladies. You know, put, putting on cufflinks, if that's just something you do, if you don't wear cufflinks with, with, with your shirts at work or if you're not used to wearing them in social occasions, whatever it is, you don't want to be sitting there the morning before the wedding um, starting to freak out because you, you don't know which, which holes they go in, which, which side goes, goes where. Um, things like that, just practice, practice tying your, your, your necktie if you're wearing a necktie. Um, and I, I guess that kind of extends to your, your bridesmaids and your groomsmen as well. Just make sure they know what they're doing. You don't want everyone else showing up with their um, with their, 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 their shirts buttoned fine and one foot with these tails hanging out and these cufflinks tied onto his um, these buttonholes up here or whatever it is. So yeah, just practice getting dressed. Simple but effective. Tip number three. This is so important on the wedding day is to schedule some couple time. Uh, your, your, your day is going to, everyone says this and it will be no different for you, your day will zoom by um, and suddenly it's over and you wake up the next morning wondering where it went. So when, when, you, when you're going through your day plan, uh, sh schedule in some couple time, that might be half an hour, might be an hour, wh wh whatever it is, but just some time for the two of you uh, to be alone. On, on your wedding day, it's not a, it's not too much to ask. I think uh, it's 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 so so important. It's such a nice bit of time, and when you look back on the day, you're able to reflect on this this little window that you had a, a bubble for yourselves um, to just catch up, see how you're getting on, have a little canoodle, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, so, so, so get it done. I mean, uh, a lot of times people <clears throat> when we're doing the the couple photos. Uh, if, if we're sneaking away for a little bit, what I'd say to the couples is, look, if you want to be, spend a bit more time on your own here, um, I, I'll, I'll go away and, uh, y you know, you can blame the photographer when uh, s somebody else starts going, God, where were you for the last three hours or two hours, whatever it is, you can say, oh, the photographer kept us taking snaps. I won't be doing that unless you want me to, but, uh, yeah, it's a good way to um, to get, get that time in. Okay, tip number four. This is a very practical tip. When you get your wedding presents, um, don't be like a kid at Easter when you rip the wrappers off everything or rip open all the envelopes and you know like whoa this, that, that, that's what this person got us whoa look at that thing over there 
um, write it down, get a notebook, get a phone, whatever it is, even just get a voice memo and record, you know, we, we got another toaster from Aunt Mary, whatever it is, at least then you know, and it avoids a lot of complications when you're writing your thank you cards or when you're bumping into somebody and you're kind of, kind of going, geez, what, what did they give us for the, for the, for the, for the wedding? I have no idea. Um, yeah, because once, you, once you're sitting in a room surrounded by open presents or uh, wads of cash, whatever it is, you have no way of, of going back through your mind and figuring out who gave you what. Tip number six is simple sh share the day plan. So when you've got your plan for the day and you know where you're going to be and where different parts of the wedding are taking 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 part, uh, make sure you share that plan with your your your, your bridesmaids, your groomsmen, your your family, whoever it is that 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 needs to know. Um, you know, travel logistics, whatever it is, that, that, that's all well and good, that's one part of it, but you don't want to be standing around with, you know, 10 people coming up at certain separate times asking you, how do I get to the, the, the reception, or which is the best back road to get quicker, if I, if I want to get to, to straight through to the, um, the, the ceremony, whatever it is, just get all that out there, or if you, if you, if you don't want to disclose the whole lot to everybody, make sure that you have um, to, told everything to say one person on, on both sides, or one person in total, and you've let everybody else know that, look, if you've got questions on the day, talk to John, talk to Mary, whatever it is, and, uh, and leave us the fuck alone. Okay, the last extra bonus tip, you know what's coming, is to get yourself a bloody good photographer, uh, someone that you can work with, somebody you can have a bit of crack with, and that's gonna capture your day, in, a, in as nice and unobtrusive and as beautiful way as, as possible. Um, you're, you're looking at one here, uh, yeah, shameless plug. Okay, that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, check out my other videos and my other blogs. Um, subscribe, like, whatever it is, feel free to share. And uh, yeah, drop me a line if you have any crazy tips of your own or put them in the comments. And yeah, it'd be great to hear from you. Thanks a lot, take care, all the best, bye-bye.